Hello, you wonderful people. Here I am again for some good Napoleonic action. And uh, I'm playing uh, Napoleonic Total War 3, a mod for Total War Napoleon. And this time for kicks, I thought I would play the French. Because Napoleon is such an interesting character, as are his marshals. And an argument could be made that some of his marshals were, were uh, better as field commanders, at least for part of their careers, than Napoleon was overall. And Napoleon may have had more charisma than the rest of them, but interesting. Anyways, I'm um, going to be playing the French. And uh, right, uh, my first mission is to take Vienna from the Austrians. And uh, that's what this is. And that Wurttemberg has apparently canceled a trade agreement that I didn't even know I had. <clears throat> okay. Very exciting. All right. The else is France. <clears throat> This is my Spanish ally down here. He will do frightfully little this game, I suspect. Except maybe we, he might, he probably will take out, take Gibraltar from the British. I think that might be all I can expect from the Spanish for this game. I have an ally in Amsterdam. And... Uh, Hanover is currently in French control and it is led by Bernadette who is a reasonably proficient marshal um, but this is uh <clears throat> my road to victory right here, I think. And there's Vienna. Actually, I'll probably start in the south. Milan. Northern Italy is also an ally of mine. And I have an army right here led by Massima. One of the greatest generals in military history at least until he went to Spain in real Napoleonic War. Um, let's see. Let us start with a look at the government. Oh look, Napoleon's the emperor. That means it's after 1805. Well, September 1805. I don't think we have an emperor just yet. I thought that was December. But anyway, um, I might be wrong. Policies. Policies is one something I almost never look at because I just don't. I could probably play a game where someday I might, but the people I have in charge are actually already pretty, pretty good. I don't even need to consider replacing anybody with these losers. Yeah. Everybody I have in position is already better than any any on my alternatives, so okay. Uh, research. I do have a university in Olean. Olean. And I'm going to research money. Money things. Give me money. I need money. All right. I have a guy here that I can. My 
early goal is to build up this southern army. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Please don't let me forget to move my navy. Sometimes I do. There's a cannon down here. Let me move that over there too. I'm leaving one guy in each of these cities. I'm hoping that's enough. Oh, I have to spend money too. Okay. Well, should be simple enough. All right. Is my volume level okay? That's maxed, okay. I just didn't hear that very well. Uh, maybe I can change the setting. Do, 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 options, sound, speech, effects. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, right, so that was Messina in the south. I suspect he will come up here and take Innsbruck from the Austrians. That is my goal for him. Now, for the French armies, we have Marshal Ney with a decent army. We have Marshal Marat with uh, cavalry. And, of course, Napoleon himself. Let's bring Napoleon towards Württemberg. Let's bring these cavalry that belong to General Marat and give them to Napoleon because Napoleon needs a full army. We need to fill out this entire army. What does he have anyways? He has he only has one gun. But he has some ridiculously good <laughs> Look at the morale on that. A hundred and eleven on the guard heavy cavalry. That's ridiculous. Ninety one. Ninety six on the carabiners. <laughs> Crazy. Yep. They don't break much. That is to say, they don't. And I'll bring all of Marshal Ney's troops over here, too. And that fills it out. All right. Only two guns. Is there, is there another gun nearby? I don't think there is. I will bring Marshal Ney here. Actually, I think there is a gun. Here. Yep. General Deval has a gun. All right. Um, this guy. Go. Oh, go. Oh, damn it. Missed. <laughs> this gun comes up to Napoleon. I want Napoleon to have at least three guns. And um, these two bees, not nearly as quality as the others, will come up to Stuttgart as well. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, damn. Didn't mean to bring oh. <laughs> tiny little misses. All right, you guys. Then I send these generals will eventually be sent back to get more troops from Paris. All right. And I have some troops in Paris. Yeah. Gonna bring a bunch of guys up to the front. All right. 
Now this guy goes here and helps ex exp expediting uh, that. This guy also will go there, although for whatever reason he's out of position. The British fleet is ruling my north coast as, mm, as expected. trading port. It's time to start building. Building. And the first thing I'm building, for whatever reason, is ports. It's nice to have money at the start of the game. Here, I think I do a tiny little, yeah, one ship fleet. A little construction. I think I want to build these in the south. Trade trading ships. I think I want to build them in the south. There's a gun there. You already have one. Okay. So, built up my ports. I'm going to go through and build up these Courts of Appeals. And that's it. I bought two of them. Progress. All right. Has I, have I moved everybody? Oops. He hasn't moved, but I, I'll build, burp a guy there. He's not gonna move. Some elite infantry. Um, militia or cavalry. The choice I take. Cavalry. I just don't like having these units out here wasted, not doing anything. Alright. And the Navy. Mm -hmm. Setting up my trade. Trading with North Africa. That's my existing trade ships. What do I have here? Oh, two more trade ships. Good. These guys will head even farther this way while blocking. Until they get there, they will just sit here and block enemy trade. No, I have an actual navy of some strength areas. He doesn't have any trade ships in him, and they have all this, all these trade options out here, and this is with like the Americas and so forth and so on. And up here is, well, I guess those are actually the, the trade ports with America, and these would be. Um, South America, um, also, also Africa, it's kind of strange that they're off in an angle like that. I guess South America makes sense. Colonies and so forth, but, all right. And, uh, so, I have this fleet here, I'm going to bring it back over here. Before I do that, I'm going to <laughs> uh, pop that uh, British port in Gibraltar. 
they'll fix it immediately, but until then, I popped it. All right, so the fleets have moved, the money's been spent, the research has been done. Next is talking to people. Let's see. Will the Prussians agree to a trade agreement? Yes. Will the Ottomans agree to a trade agreement? Yes. All right, so we've set up trade with everybody who's not already my enemies. You know, my enemies already at the start of the game are the British, the Austrians, and the Russians. And also uh, Sweden. All right, now the Hessen would be good to trade with. Good. The Sicilians, Sicilians, Mecklenburg. Let's try Mecklenburg. Trading with as many of these people as I can from the start of the game. Naples, Sardinia, Portugal. Oh, how about Portugal? It may not last very long, but we're not presuming. <sighs> In Sicily. And Naples. It's nice to have so many ports that I can trade from. And it looks like that's it. These other people either don't have the ability to trade to open trade or I don't have any any additional ability to trade. But that is that. Trade is done. Spending is done. That's done. That's done. Armies have been moved. Things have been bought. Um, I think that. Oh, I got uh, on the table for round one. Not too bad. Got a lot to do to run an empire. All right. I expect no guff from guff from you on turn one. And they gave me no guff. In fact, they gave me nothing at all. Okay. That's okay. I had a cannon down here. It is moving towards Innsbruck. This guy. Come up here and sees that. From the Start that on fire. I love burning people's stuff. That might uh, cause the Austrians to come down and, and attack me, but that's okay. They don't have enough troops to really threaten me. Napoleon, there's three guns. Uh, we'll come over here and take Munich. Let's see who's there. We have General Mack and a bunch of citizen militia and they're trying to surrender so that they can save their army. And if I do that, my army will be undamaged. But that's okay. I would rather slaughter everybody. And slaughter them I did. I will peacefully occupy Munich. And they will set the building on fire, and that's okay. Now my army is dinged up, but it won't be dinged up for very long. And Napoleon has gained a plus one when commanding cavalry units. 
for what it's worth. All right. Marshal Ney's army is growing in size. A spy is moving into position. General Deval. Deval, go back to Paris. Alright, come forth and bring bring your dudes. Alright. You guys are moving on Paris like they're supposed to. Continue moving to Paris. Continue moving to Paris. Continue moving there. I have two guys there helping process information. All right. We are studs. Okay, more money to spend. I'm spending on these. These courts of appeals, because they bring money back to the, back to me. So that I can build more, build more guys and build more buildings that will help me build more guys. Do I have any money? I have 500 bucks left. I could probably build, do I want to build in Hanover? That kind of freaks out the Prussians, I think, when I start building in Hanover. Well, we don't need to freak out the Prussians. So, in Paris, I will build. That's not Paris. In Paris, I shall build, look at all those options. Build some high quality line infantry. All right, one unit of high quality line infantry. All right. Troops moved, money spent. Uh, navies. This guy. Trading in uh, North Africa. This guy uh, is going to have to move to the other side of Gibraltar. Trade. This guy, who's he going to be concerned with? The Eng English fleets who are more concerned with my North Shore? Or the potential... Well, there's an Austrian fleet down here, isn't there? Tiny little piece of junk Austrian fleet. Because Austria is not particularly known for its fleets. And there is an extra fleet here, and also that in there too. Alright. Now I gotta protect those guys with this fleet. Now that I take on the Austrians and probably um, the Turks will probably come eventually turn against me as well. Okay. That was uh, pretty fast. Scratch. Oh, I haven't built roads. Oh, darn it. Next turn. Building a bunch of roads. Because I forgot to do it. <sighs> and, they, and they're dirt cheap. And I need them. So, next turn. Buying lots of roads. Because I forgot to do it. Who's designing this empire anyways? Um, I recruited a dude. Where is he? There he is. Um, yeah, go up here to Berlin. I built a guy in Hanover and built some ports. All right, infrastructure, roads. See, they cost. It costs almost nothing, they take one turn to make. 
So I'm going to just make a bunch of roads. That's all I'm doing. And that's... I have more money. <laughs> Enough money to do more. I got all, all these ones. All these roads. Roads are good for commerce. They increase the amount of money my empire will have and can have. A bunch of roads. All these cities. Alright, I built I built uh built in every city. That's good. And I still have three thousand bucks left. Alright, well in that case buildings. Let us build more buildings. More courts of appeals. And I'm already out. Courts of appeals are expensive, but in the long run, they bring in a lot of cash. More high end infantry coming out of Paris. All right, Napoleon's army in Munich is about half healed. And Let's see where, see if I can find any Austrian armies that are slowly making their way my way. He already moved. Right, this is May. This guy will stay in Stuttgart. This guy. Yeah, this guy will join Ney. And almost full army. Almost a second full army. Uh, uh, slow building, slowly building the army up in Paris. French fleet is blockading my ally in Holland. Not very nice. Build a coastal gun there. I guess I don't have enough money for another one. It's okay. Okay. I have troops that were not attacked in Innsbruck. Or moving on Innsbruck. And I want that gun up there with Messina. I have two guns. That's pretty huge for me anyway. Uh, do I let Messina take in the book? Or do I let Napoleon do it? Or heck, do I let Marshal Ney do it? Everybody can get in on, get in on the action. And there's no threat up here from the Prussian yet. Not yet. All right. I think I have some ships to move, right? I have a trade ship here that needs to go trade someplace. You can tell by this white line that somebody is here. But they're just too far away for me to see them. I'm going to see if there's somebody here. Oh. I have to pop the British first. Well, means I won't get there this turn. But oh well, I had to pop the British. Such a stuff on fire, fire! All right, I 
next time he'll be there. And looking for the Austrian fleet now. There's an Austrian, part of an Austrian fleet. I will approach him, approach him audaciously. And block trade. Right. That's right, I moved up a gun. And those guys are, aren't hardly damaged at all, actually. I could move on Innsbruck. But I think I'll wait till next turn. Okay. Bernadette can sit there and hand over and wait for the Prus Prussians to get pissed. I have no problem with that. Two turns left on that. Is there anybody else I can trade with? It looks like I can, can trade with the Saxon. Oh, because I took Munich. Let's trade with the Saxon. How about that? And how about... Sardinia? Is that... I'm trading with all kinds of people. I'm not entirely sure how beneficial that is, but it makes me feel good. Alright, so I built this this highway through southern Germany. And uh, it leads right, right to Vienna. But I'll also... Uh, I expect I will also take Innsbruck and Venice along the way. And then eventually Prague and Olmolz. And by then, Prussians will probably be at war with me. Oh, what? Jerk. Gonna move your 26 gun dude to fight my 12 gun no I'll give it to you but I'm gonna wipe I'm going to kick your butt this turn though port blockaded Rated. Hold the gun on the English Channel and all those roads. Look at all those roads. All right, first things first. Oh, I can't reach him. How do you manage that? Irritating. Oh, he'll go after this guy next, so I have to move him here. If I move him far enough away, they will be able to um, avoid damage. But it's still irritating. Well, the British didn't rebuild their port. Aww. Aww. Going to catch up with you, weasel boy. Alright. Now on to real things. 
things, real matters. Yeah, this army under Messina will go and uh, lay siege to Innsbruck. You can see it has Arch Archduke Johann, who is a cavalry unit actually. And for whatever reason, well, because they don't have any cannons, I suspect. They're saying that my army has, uh, is very superior to theirs. And so I will automatically run that fight and win. Peacefully occupy. Oh, plus water morale in battles. That's good. I'll fix that. And then I'll come down here and fix this building that I wrecked last turn. All right. And the book is mine. Now. That guy, Marshal Ney, will move to Munich. While Napoleon... Let's, let's move my spy around. Let's see if... He comes across any. Where the heck are they? I mean, there's there's a Russian army out here someplace, and there's an Austrian army out here someplace. Uh, they aren't big, not like Napoleon's, but maybe it's up. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But Napoleon for is going to move to this bridge. And he is in enemy territory, so his boys won't be healing anymore, but I think they're pretty well healed up. Marshal Ney will move forward to Munich. Marat will move to towards Paris. Yeah. More guns. Some guard 12 pounders. That's very, very cool. 12 pounders are my favorites. They're awesome sauce. Do I want to move him out of there or... I mean, he has a handful of cavalry, of small unit cavalry and a couple of units of infantry. I don't know how much he could actually do. But I might actually... This is the extreme west, western edge of the Prussian Empire. And it's kind of isolated with uh, the Hess and the French and Oldenburg right there. So I could take this from the Prussians when it comes time to declare war on them. So I thought I think I'll set this, this uh, place up to do. And build a gun there because I don't have one yet. All right. I'd also want to invade England. Hmm. Invading England and sacking London gives you a ton of money if you do it. But right now my troops are kind of out of position as I take Vienna, as I'm heading towards taking Vienna at Blitzkrieg speed. Did I move this guy? I did. No. Yeah, I did. All right. And that, as they say, is that. So far, early in the war, the French are superior. Imagine that.
brushing the ostrich inside. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, um, I think I will stop here because I have to go to work. But um, this is the uh, first couple turns of the French for uh, some fun Napoleonic action. Um, download the mod today. It's great. All right. Um, so this is Jomo Rising signing off.